Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Let's Play Stick Ranger. So, um, on the last episode, um, I said I was going to go back and uh, buy the book for Snowfield 8, and for Snowfield 7, I did. And uh, I found this, the Sapphire 5, which I'm going to equip to the uh, to the Ice Meteor right now, so let's do that. Uh, let's see here. Nothing else too crazy. Either. There is another emerald right here. Now, you might be wondering why I actually got another one. Well, looking at the book, check this out. The Thorn Flail, so that's a flat upgrade to whatever I have here. Uh, I actually have not used a weapon in a while. I might do that in this episode. <coughs> let's see. We got the lightsaber. Um, let's see here. I thought I saw this right here, the ice orb. I thought it would be an upgrade to the um, to the ice meteor, but instead, it just like fires a very slow moving ball. It's a bit like uh, let's see. It's a bit like this boss actually. That, so that's kind of interesting. And uh, the last one is the poisonous staff. I, th I saw that in the book, and I, I'm just like, okay, i got to grind for one of those immediately. I haven't used it yet. Brand new, brand new, right off the boss. So uh, let's uh, grab that, and uh, let's equip it with these two things, because I did grind for a couple other ones. Uh, there's no, like, like a Peridot 5 quite yet, or... Oh, I didn't grind for the... Oh, no, I did grind for the Topaz. Oh, I even got another one of these, too, so we can... Uh... Okay, now we can actually see exactly how much... Uh, Length this adds to your sword right off the bat. Check that out. Like that actually does make a difference after a while. Uh, let's see here, and then let's equip the uh, the ice of a couple things. I think I'm gonna give it this criticals card just because I can't really find anything else to give it right now. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm still waiting for the day this thing saves me too. So uh, let's see. Let's uh, sell off our old weapons. Oh my goodness, it's so nice to get all this clutter out of our inventory right here. We have some. Some flat upgrades right here, which are really going to help out in the long run. So, let's go out here. Now, I believe I said I want to do the Frozen Lake next. Now, I'm assuming... Wait, what is this? Oh, huh, interesting. I thought this was going to be another water level, kind of like an oasis or something. But apparently... Um, let's see. These guys are really far away, so I'm going to use this. Um, but apparently, it's instead of... Yeah, instead like a literal Frozen Lake. Oh, my goodness. It's like ice physics, too. That is interesting. Uh, let's see here. I'm really glad that uh, actually... Oh, they don't even resist ice. That's really good. Oh, man. Those little ice shards are doing 25 to 40 damage now, which is pretty crazy. I actually have not used the um, the ice chain in quite some time. Or, the, yeah, the uh, well, that's true, too, but the ice meteor in quite some time. It is a very powerful weapon still, all things considered, even though I do feel it is getting a little bit outdated. Like, maybe if I can, like, find an upgrade to it. Like, heck, I'd take an upgrade for, like, Big Thunder at this point. Uh, let's see here. Can you uh, give in the range of this four right here? Uh, yes, there we go. Uh, doing some very good damage here. All right, all right. So with that out of the way, uh, let's actually continue onwards, and let's see what these guys do. They drop, they drop like lightning on you. Oh, okay, and they do like 70. Oh, no, they do They do like 1 to 80 damage each. That's kind of crazy, actually. Um, I'm actually going to turn these guys off because they can, They appear to only be able to, um, yeah, to hit things that are like directly below them. So I'm... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's see. The idea is to probably trip you up with uh with the ice, so you actually just like slide into them by complete accident. I mean, I'm already sliding in, into these kinds of attacks right here. Let's um give you the uh the uh, super volcano for these particular enemies, and then drop the uh, drop this guy right here, then equip him with the uh, with the yeah with uh the staff, the poisoner, which is going to start to do some crazy damage to uh, yeah, to enemies with slightly larger uh, amounts of health. Like honestly, this. I, okay, I, I, yeah, at first I couldn't really see that much of a difference. I don't know, maybe it has like a... Oh, wait a second, that's a difference. It actually attacks now. You know what, that might actually be bad, but um, I'm going to keep it anyway just because it's a flat upgrade, and I, I kind of like that for the time being. If it does get too... Um, Okay, so I'll switch back to the old one, but regardless, uh, let's see, doing some ver doing a very good number on this guy right here. This enemy is actually very easy to exploit right now. Uh, let's see, assuming you actually have range fires, which I do recommend you do. I recommend you have at least one for specifically four enemies like that. Uh, okay, now we have these, uh, <coughs> yeah, we have these enemies right here who fire, they like lob uh, these like, these like snowballs at you. You know, I really like how like every bullet in this, in this area, aside from, uh, yeah, aside from the bullets are just, like, flat snowballs. I really like that for whatever reason. So, let's see. Take care of you. Uh, and then, uh, let's see. It appears to be another set of these kinds of enemies. So, let's uh, drag you right over here. And then, uh, let's see here. Yes, okay. This should start to do some crazy damage. Can I drag you over here, by chance, and have you start attacking all of them at once? Um, no, your range doesn't appear to be nearly that long with this weapon equipped. Oh, and if you, if you go, like, right next to him, you can do that. And there are, a, there are quite a few Nigerian rice balls on the ground. So, uh, yeah, okay, there we go. You know, I'm not sure if I've ever talked about this before, but, um, when it comes to large enemies, like, really big ones like this, I think, um... They are always, uh, they're, like, hard-coded to always drop an at least one Jerry Rice Ball. 
or when you kill them. Like, it's not even, not even like a rare drop or anything. I'm going to take you a little bit farther away because that's starting to worry me a little bit. Like, that is some... Um, those do like 1 to one to 80 damage each. That can stack up pretty quickly, I'd imagine. All right, that is a, that's a lot of rice balls right there. Let's uh, heal everyone up, and then uh, let's move on. Any more new enemies? No, we just have some more of these fools. All right, uh, let's... Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, <coughs> <laughs> yeah, pardon. Uh, let's, uh, oh my goodness. Okay, they, um, they are slowing my guys down a lot, actually. Let's, um, you know, these guys actually don't slow you down that badly. They're not that crazy, actually. They're actually not that, uh, that bad. And, uh, let's see here. Oh, man, the, um, the amount of thorns, uh, the thorn flayla seems to, uh, shoot out, because I'm actually paying attention to that weapon now. They appear to be a lot smaller, but I'm assuming they do more damage. Maybe that's so they can, like, double the amount of thorns that actually get shot, which is crazy if that is the case. That is a ridiculous amount of damage those do. Uh, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's skip ahead. I'm gonna say that we've probably defeated every enemy, so let's skip to the boss. Oh, 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 it's a, uh, it's a mushroom. Uh, uh, oh, oh, this can, this is gonna start out really badly. What does this do? He fires shots at you. Uh, what do they do? They do, like, 30 damage each. Oh, that was bad. Why'd I hold him right there? Okay, get you, uh, actually, wait a second, where is... Okay, there he is. Now, let's, uh, okay, you still don't deal damage to enemies when you do this. Well, okay, I know what we're gonna be doing now, then. Uh, honestly, I can't believe I found this by complete accident and have just found this, this playthrough. This is such an interesting idea to take these guys out as quickly as possible. So, unfortunately, we're just gonna be, uh, yeah, we're just gonna be doing this for the time being. I really don't know what else to do right now. Uh, let's see here. I could... Look around. What can I do? I got Pokemon right over there still. Oh, man. Okay. I, yeah. I, more, more talk about Pokemon. Really not much to do uh, as I'm waiting for this uh, guy to take him out, though. But, uh, um, I, um, I actually, uh, okay, when I got back into Pokemon, because the story behind me in that series, I got out with Gen 2, but then I got back in with Soul Silver. So I kind of, like, so, like, thanks to Silver, I got out and then back into Pokemon, which is kind of crazy. But, I uh, completely skipped Gen 5 for the most part, so I had not, did not have access to, like, Black 2, those kinds of games, and um, then as a result of that, I actually never really got the ability to use tutor moves, and if I ever wanted any, I had to go on, like, Smogan, U yes, Smogan University as, yes, forums or something like that. However, um, in the new Auras games, they actually added some, uh, they actually add the uh, tutor moves back in. I think there's even a couple new ones now. So, um, as a result of that, I, 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 okay, I'm still kind of new to breeding, so I decided to make the first, uh, Pokemon I ever bred in, uh, in Ores, uh, be a Pokemon that exclusively has, um, yeah, that exclusively has, uh, has tutor moves. And I decided, uh, I decided to, uh, pick Electros, because he's always been one of my favorites for whatever reason. I just really like him. Like, he's just like a giant Lamprey or an Eel or, like, he's supposed to be an Eel, I think, but I, he, he, he strikes me more like a Leech, actually. Which is really cool. They're really neat animals. I know. Okay. Which is really neat, because uh, they're really neat animals. So, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Doing some pretty good damage on this guy right now. He's about halfway done, but uh, let's see. What was I saying? Ah, yes. And because um, he, he kind of strikes me as a leech, I'm going to make all, his whole moveset just... Um, I, I'm going to make like his whole moveset just like or just based around life steal. So, he's going to have like Drain Punch, Giga Drain, because those are tutor moves. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, Electros actually has some pretty bad moves, unless you uh, go for tuner moves. Ah, uh, regardless. So he, he's still, like, one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 5, because the individual Pokemon themselves are, like, some of my favorite things about that game. Ah, uh, regardless. So I, I really like the shade of blue at the bottom here. Like, honestly, when you play a game like this for this long, um, yeah, you, you start to... Think, little details like that start to stick out. And it's really, really neat. I mean, I really like that. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm just dragging this, like, arm back and forth here. Really not much to do here, because I hate it when I do run into a tedious boss like this. I mean, you saw his attack. You saw what he does. I don't, I don't want any part of that right now. So, I'm just going to take the easy way, just step back, relax a little bit, and take this guy out as soon as possible. And, uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're still doing pretty well right here. We're at nine minutes right now. This might be a one-level episode right here, because the next, uh, the next, uh, yeah, the, I'm going to say next episode, the next level is, uh, yet another, um, yeah, is, uh, yet another mega boss. is the Ice Castle, and I can't wait to see what that's like. Uh, let's see here. I'm thinking of what else I could do in this episode. I could probably, um, try and, uh, yeah, I, I could probably try to, uh, do the Mountain 2 again, but honestly, a, a fight like that might take, like, a half hour, and I don't have the time for that in either in this episode or in literal time right now. I actually gotta leave to go somewhere pretty soon. Uh, I, I just... <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to get this video out of the way as soon as possible because I love this game and I want to explore more of it. And I cannot wait to beat the Mega Boss and go on to the next level or go on to the next area because I hear like it's some sort of hell world. So, uh, what have I learned from actually, um, let's playing this? Well, 
Okay, but it, it's really fun to play games that you like. I mean, that's kind of obvious, but um, it, it's really neat when you play games like this that you really like that also have constant updates because there's a really neat charm behind... There's a really nice charm behind playing a game you're familiar with, but going through places that you're completely unfamiliar with. It's like when you play like a sequel that has like the exact same controls as the original, and you just add more levels or uh, or like more mechanics, things like that. It's kind of the same mentality, and I really like that for whatever reason. So let's see here. This guy appears to be almost dead right now. I, I hate to deal with these mushrooms, so yeah, this is probably the easiest way to do this. All right, there we go. And if he has an item, too, they could probably grind for that pretty easily as well. Oh, we actually leveled up in that. Uh, let's go back to the resort. Level up real quick. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, level up real quick. And uh, let's see. What else uh, do we have right here? We didn't actually get any items in that level. I might, I might have to uh, search for the book on that one and just see if there's anything interesting from there. So next time, what I think I want to do is I'm going to go to Mountain... I, I think I want to go to Mountain 2. We got, we, got, we got this now, and we got this now. Two more powered-up physical attacking ones. So if we can defeat Mountain 2, I would like to do that level next. If not, I want to go to the Ice Castle and defeat this Mega Boss. I can go to, like, this ocean, this, like, tree right here, and then eventually to this world, because this is really intriguing to me. I want to go to this Lava Lake right here. That looks interesting. So I think I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.